We show up in the party <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to Astronaut. This is Alex here, back with another Unreal Engine 5 tutorial. Now, contrary to other tut to previous tutorials that I have made and that I have made two or more, this one is should be quite shorter. So, what am I going to teach you in this tutorial? You might be asking yourselves, although you will have seen it in the title. So, what I'm going to be showing you today is how to import objects as well as maps properly into Unreal Engine because you might have been running into the problem of importing some objects and then not seeing certain surfaces that might be invisible in the game for some reason that you might not know. So in this tutorial I'm going to be explaining why this is happening to you and how to fix it. So really quickly let's just open up Blender and I'm going to show you. So this is my folder and in here you can see that I have already exported the object which I have named weird object and the I have exported it how it is not supposed to be and how you might have done it and how it is supposed to be. So in most cases you're not gonna need this tip but if you are having this problem and you have come across this video I want to help you. So for, I don't know why you would want to import this object but I didn't know what to make so I just beveled the cube and then extruded this and made it a cone. So when you this looks this is what you have on to what you want to import but for some reason in Unreal Engine it looks kind of like this. Okay and just to be clear this is the map this is the map from the previous tutorials that I have made and I changed it a little bit because I updated my Unreal Engine version for this tutorial. And okay Alright, and yeah, and I, I dragged in my object. This is the object we had from Blender. We I exported it, I just went into Blender and then exported it. I have a tutorial for that on how you can do that as well. You can go check it out. The link is going to be in the description below. Now, you can see that while in Blender it looks like this, in Unreal Engine it looks like this. What? Can you not? You can probably notice the difference, and, it is, and the difference is that. While I'm rotating around it or I'm moving around it, the object, the faces kind of go invisible and you cannot see it, but you can see the back faces. And if we go in here and test it out and play, well, I have not applied any collisions to this, to this mess because this is not a tutorial about collisions, wait, a tutorial about collisions, but it seems to have a, a default collision on its own anyway so you can see that when i get into the game this doesn't the problem that of the visibility of the faces does not go away so it's not just because you're looking it you're looking at it from the viewport right here that's not the problem so let's get into blender because there this problem stems from blender and ha see how we can fix it so in here you cannot see any difference you cannot see anything wrong okay so all the faces are as they're supposed to be. But let's tab into edit mode with using the tab key on your keyboard. And you can still see that there are no problems. But if we go up here and we click on this and then make all of these three visible. And for this tutorial, you're just going to be needing this last one. So the faces and where the faces are. So let me explain this. The whichever side these blue lines are facing this is how v where we it is visible in other programs so if you export it as an fbx file now you can see that this face has a blue line going there and if we go into the this face this face you cannot see a blue line which means that if we were inside it we the faces would be invisible so yeah you might have guessed it right now this is the problem with this you can see no blue faces but for some reason which is usually extruding to the inside the blue face is facing the inside so how do we change this first of all hit a to select all because you want the problem to disappear for all of these and then shift n and you will recalculate normals now make sure that when you go down here 
you have not ticked inside because that's what cause what's causing the problem. If all of the faces are facing the, to the inside, the entire cube is going to be having this problem. So make sure inside is checked off and then go over here and you can see that by using shift n to recalculate or by using f3 and then typing in recalculate out normals outside or out or inside and make sure to select outside the problem has gone away over here but let's see if the problem has gone away in unreal engine as well now go ahead and export the cube i have already done it i'm i promise this is what was causing the problem so once you go over here and you drag in this the new fbx file which is in this case is this because our original was this one which was having the problem you can already see that the problem has been fixed and let's go over here let's set it to be right like this and you can see no problem whatsoever okay so contrary to this one the first thing the first cube that we added this one does not have the problem and this does not only apply to objects that you want to assign into your map or anything it also applies to maps so if you have a map and you cannot see the face or there is a problem with the collisions or anything this it is likely that this is causing the problem but for collisions there are more problems and but in this case the the invisibility of the face is this really irritating issue was this okay so that was it for this tutorial so next time that you're having the problem just go remember to go into blender and go to your object and check w and go tab into edit mode and check whether all these blue faces and generally all of those uh, these blue lines and these dark blue lines and the pink lines are facing the outside of the cube and make sure that once you go inside the object once you go inside there are no faces uh, if there are you can see you can hit a to select all and then shift 10 and make sure that the inside is checked off so this was a quick tutorial about unreal engine 5 and 4 as well and I hope this helped. If you did, consider leaving a like and subscribing. See you in the next one. Um, that's the stuff. I should watch more videos.